yeah, it's arm day. We've been doing this arm program so uh, you guys can actually sign up using the link here. But today, I'm in here training without Jake. So the bet Jake and I have is whoever's arms don't grow the most. So if I win, if my arms grow more than his, he has to pay for Courtney and I to go to Hawaii. If I lose, I have to pay for him and Sonny to go to Hawaii. So you bet your ass I'm making sure I'm hitting all three arm workouts a week. And let's be honest, who doesn't like arms? So the whole main purpose of this arm training program is to cause hypertrophy. So we really have three ways that we can do that. So we have mechanical tension, we have muscle damage, and then we have what we're doing today, which is metabolic stress. And that's when we're gonna be busting out the occlusion bands. And what that's gonna create is inside the muscle, we're gonna have all this metabolic waste build up. That right there is the kind of the primary reason that we want to use the occlusion bands. Using those three principles of hypertrophy, that's how we're training those, those arms. Again, today, high reps, just a sick, sick bro pump. It's a sick bro pump. I'm gonna get a little warm up. And we also have my younger brother here. Oh, look out. It's time for him. I, I, I invited him specially for this workout because I can't have my younger brother walking around with just some BB guns. I'm like, yo, you tell people you're my younger brother, we gotta put some pipes on you. So he's in here. First exercise, 21s. Jumping right into it. We did two warm up sets here. 21s just coming up halfway for seven. And then all the way up, halfway down. And then all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! Wake up the biceps. Jack, you're up. Oh, we're gonna grow some arms on you yet. So while he's, I'm gonna be here for his set, giving me my rest time. So halfway up, good. All we're doing with the, the Steve Cook Health Arm Blaster there is we're making sure our elbows don't move. It's really easy to want to cheat here. This isn't a cheat exercise. Today, everything will be 20 reps or above. Obviously 21, 21s is 21 reps here. Good, all the way up, squeeze to the top, squeeze. Good. Where you at here? Right there? How many is that? Five. All right, and then straight into, we're supersetting our 21s with an overhead dumbbell extension for 20 reps. So I've taken about, mm, uh, 40 seconds in between here. Straight in, all the way down, all the way up. And I get a lot of people that always ask me where I get this sweatshirt. I picked it up at Nike Town in Santa Monica. I haven't been able to find them online. So if you guys can, share and let other people know. Elbows a little closer. Good, two, 18 more. Four, three, oh. You guys, make sure you guys thumbs this up for Jack. Anyone who wears a holiday beanie inside the workout needs a thumbs up. Stretch 20. it, 20, good job. I'm 12 years older than Jack, so he didn't get the benefit of working out with me when I was, when he was younger. So we're trying to right that wrong. Back into our 21s right now. Three. Uh, all right, let's get those arms to grow. Your future is only as big as your arms, okay? Everyone knows that, it's science. Right now, your future's looking small, Jack. Come on, time to grow. Two, slow it down. Three, all the way down. Four, good. Five, extend the arm. Good. Look, your gym shorts matching the Steve Cook armband. The arm blaster. And then your hat goes and totally screws it up. Wouldn't you guys like, thumbs up if you guys wish you had an older brother that just hooked you up with free Gymshark stuff. The shirt underneath even Gymshark too, huh? Jack's going around telling people he's sponsored by Gymshark. Oh, I didn't man. know Gymshark sponsored long distance runners. <sighs> Do now. People would be like, Steve, you're so mean to your younger brother. Don't worry, I have an older brother and it builds character. <laughs> He's just funny. Last set of 21s, not using too much of the eccentric part. It's about a, a one to one. So one second up, one second down. That tempo stuff was early on in the week. We were really working with heavier weight. And that was the muscle damage part of this, this program. That one burns. 
You ready for this? I don't want you telling mom, Mom, Stephen's making my arms hurt. Come on. One, two, slow it down, wait, what's the weight here? No, we gotta go. I got a present for you. I'm giving you the gift of big arms this Christmas. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Come on, right to here. There we go. That future is looking bigger and bigger. All the way down. All the way down, come on. How are those arms feeling? Right. Like 22s yet? From BB guns to 22s? What, what, what's like a big gun? Jack's a gun guy, so what's a big gun? What am I gonna go like shoot an elk with? 270. A 270? Yeah. 270s, bro. Maybe even bigger. Maybe. Maybe a gun they don't even know yet. Maybe. Bazooka. A shotgun? With a shotgun? I mean, if you were close. All right. 90 seconds rest, and then we're jumping into our next thing. Okay, since we did biceps first on that last superset, we're now doing this tricep exercise. So I love this one. This is a Charles Glass type special here. We have the D ring, just like you would do for a close grip lat pull down. And what we'll be doing is just a tricep cable push down. And what this is gonna do is incorporate a lot of that medial head of the tricep, and it's just a nice squeeze. We got 20, 20 reps here. You're gonna let your partner go or take 30 seconds rest, and then we're right into our bicep exercise, which is gonna be a spider curl. We're gonna do 20 reps there, followed by 90 seconds rest. We got three sets, three supersets. So three sets here, three sets on the spider curls, then 90 seconds rest. Here we go. And it's perfectly normal that those elbows flare out on this one. Jack, we're gonna have you go 35. All right. And the reason we're not taking a whole lot of set rest times in between this and biceps, trying to pump as much blood in as possible. No, stand next to it, and straight down. Elbows wide, good. That's one hell of a farmer stand you got there, buddy. Represent Idaho proud, I see. Yeah. Good. And we're only taking 30 seconds between this and our biceps. Trying to force as much blood in there as possible. So after our tricep push down, we're straight into dumbbell spider curls. So I'm doing these with fat grips here. And what we're gonna do, I'm only using 25 pounds. We've got 20 reps here, all the way down, all the way up, trying to push or trying to supinate to where that pinky, we're trying to force it out. Pinky's out at the top. Jack attack, you're up. Now I have about 30 more seconds looking at the clock and I'm back up to the cable D-ring press down. Second set here, when I say pinkies out, what I really mean is we're supinating our wrist so much that we're trying to force that pinky to be actually higher than our thumbs. So it's, it's really externally rotating to the point where your pinky's high. That's the whole goal of this. Oh, let's pump check, pump check. Oh, can I touch the shoulders? Straight up and breathe. Breathe. Good, right there, breathe. Oh boy. There we go. Telling you what, with those fat grips on this exercise, gotta go super light. The pump will come though. It's definitely one of those exercises that it's more about focusing on that mind muscle connection than just going through the motions. Last set on here. I'm gonna make sure I'm hitting failure. It's gonna drop the weight down. The biggest thing on this exercise is as it gets heavier, you're gonna wanna anterior rotate and start pressing down with the anterior delt there. To limit that, you gotta remember, keep the traps relaxed, shoulders nice and down and back. And as we press down, we're gonna try to pull that D-ring apart. We're not gonna be able to, so it's gonna limit our range of motion a little bit, but that by, by, using our, by keeping our elbows wide here, we're focusing more on that head. And you can see I'm just, I'm so blown up right now on my tricep, there's no definition whatsoever. This is the fun part. This is that pain. So I guess it's fun if you like pain. We have occlusion bands here. We're actually gonna be coming out with some occlusion bands on Steve Cook Health that'll have numbers on them so you can always stretch it to the same place for each arm. But what we're gonna do is essentially we're just gonna create a little bit of a tourniquet here. So what this is gonna do is we're gonna force blood as we work out, as we do our bicep curls, into the muscle, and it's gonna be then kind of trapped there. It's not gonna release as quickly. You'll have, I'm already getting a pump just by cinching these things down. You don't want it as tight. You know, you don't wanna cut off the, the circulation completely, but you do want it nice and tight. And what we're doing here, we have two sets. Each set 
is gonna require you to do three micro sets pretty much. So take a weight you can do for 20 reps. Have a partner time you. After you do your 20 reps, you have 15 seconds of rest. Then after you have 15 seconds of rest, do 15 reps, followed by another 15 seconds of rest, and then 10 reps. So really it's like one giant set consisting of 20, 15, and 10. <sighs> All right, 15 seconds of rest, starting now. All right, now we got 15 reps. Three. Oh, Kelly Clarkson, that hurts. And now we got 10 reps to finish it off. One, two, three. That was rough. We got one more round of that. Two minutes rest here, so I'm gonna let Jack go. Crazy, crazy pump though. That's what today's all about, higher reps. Last thing in this arm workout. So we've done our occlusion band training for the biceps. Time to knock it out for the triceps. We're gonna be doing bench dips here. So feet up on a bench, grab a weight, put it on. Now you don't have to do them weighted. If body weight's enough for you, do that. Plate goes on your lap. The occlusion bands are nice and tight. Again, 20, followed up by 15 seconds rest. 15, followed by 15 seconds rest. 10 followed by 15 seconds or well, followed by two minutes of rest at that point. So we have two rounds of that. Biggest thing here, getting depth, hit that 90 degrees and then up. Three. Hey Jack, you got me? Yep. 15 seconds here. 15 reps now. You got me? 15 seconds? Oh, that's hurting. Oh, they're free. The guns are free. You're up, buddy. You in there? Hello? Triceps? Can you hear me? It's time to come out. Last 10. Last 10. You know, it's perfectly normal when you first start out lifting to kind of act like a wet worm to get the weight up. Your body, you know, it's the mind-muscle connection that will allow you to eventually, when you fail, you fail in the right spots. And you know, it's natural for the other muscles to want to take over. But once you know my muscle that I'm trying to work is now failing, the set's done. It's easy to want to squirrel and, and do all these other things, but that's when either injuries happen and also it's just pointless training. We're working the triceps here. Once you fail in the triceps, set's over. Come on. Oh, come on, that a boy? Huh? Bring it in. Bring it in. How you feeling? Step one. Time to get big arms. 101, man. We just got eight more weeks of this. We're gonna have to measure Jack's arms here. Give a thumbs up though for Jack. It's been a minute. He's gonna start working out with Big Brother more often now that he's in here. You're not gonna recognize him in a couple weeks. This has been the ultimate warrior arm workout. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And if you want big arms, click the link in the description. It's an eight week program, three days a week. I told you about the whole principles of hypertrophy, what we're basing it all off of. Can you ever have too big of arms? I for one don't think so. I'm out of here guys, till next time.